Hi, welcome to LSN's Demo Den. I'm Jane, Product Manager from the JIRA Automation team. If you manage a project in JIRA, automation can help you get rid of the manual and repetitive work to help you focus on the bigger things. Recently, we shipped one of our most highly requested features, which allows for roles to be run as a user instead of the default automation for JIRA user. Customers have asked for this feature to support a number of use cases. These include logging work as a particular user, automatically responding to a customer as a real person, and creating issues on behalf of a user. For this demo, we are going to be showing you how you can change the actor of your role. For example, if you want your automation rules to be executed as yourself instead of the default automation for JIRA app, then keep watching. I'll also talk you through some things to consider when using this feature. Today, we will be using one of the more popular use cases to demonstrate how this might come in handy, but you can pretty much use this for any rule that you want, within reason. Here, we have a very simple rule that will log 30 minutes of work once an issue has transitioned from in progress to done. We are also going to add a quick comment to say that this task is officially completed. Previously, if this rule ran successfully, you would have seen that the automation for JIRA user is the one that has logged the work and added the comment. Now, in this example, we're just going to change the rule actor to instead be the user who triggered the rule. In this case, that's me. So when I transition this issue, automation will do its magic, but I'll get the kudos. Now, just a few things to remember here. If you are the person who created or owns the project, you'll be able to set the role actor as yourself or change this to the default automation for JIRA user. As a global admin, you'll be able to change this to anyone in the organization. You might think this all sounds a bit dangerous, but fret not. The person you've selected as the new rule actor will receive an email notification informing them of this change, so they are not surprised when something happens in their name. They'll also receive emails for each action that is performed on their behalf. Once the rule has successfully run, you will be able to see details of actions that have been performed as the new rule actor in the history tab of the issue. You'll also be able to track all breadcrumbs in the audit log of your rule. And that's it. A quick overview on how to set your rule to run as a real user. If you are brand new to automation, feel free to check out our Getting Started webinar series, which we have linked in the description. Otherwise, stay tuned for upcoming demo dance for more features in JIRA automation. Thank you.